expected to be busy at the end of the month. Eviction filings in many cities are expected to resume as funding for extra unemployment money runs out. And as Dan Grossman shows us, it's creating an uncertain future for millions. Skyline sings songs of progress and growth. Dormant windows, however, they foreshadow a reality that could manifest in the not too distant future. There's just a lot of fear. I mean, people are really concerned about where they're gonna go when that demand is placed on their door. Zach Newman is an attorney who started up the COVID-19 Eviction Defense Project. At the end of July, CARES funding is set to expire, stopping the $600 extra in weekly unemployment funding. At the same time, several cities across the country will lift their moratoriums on evictions, creating a gloomy future for the more than 20% of renters who struggled to pay their rent in May. It's already been seen in Memphis, where 9,000 eviction cases resumed last month, and Virginia, where 12,000 cases were filed when its moratorium was lifted. I think you have people who are behind on their rent right now who haven't been able to make full payment. But then I think the bigger source of filings is going to be in early September, when we are definitively out of the CARES Act money window. In cities like Denver and Seattle, where rent has doubled over the course of the last decade, the problem is only exacerbated. Cities know moratoriums on evictions can only last so long. Which is why here in Seattle, city commissioners passed legislation back in May, anticipating a spike. Landlords would be prohibited from using that eviction history as a basis for denying tenancy uh, and denying people uh, a place to live. The ban would last up to six months after the pandemic, helping to prevent homelessness that can spike as well. It's harder to hold on to your job. It's harder to keep your kids in school. It's harder to maintain a like workable level of health. And so what you see usually after an eviction is that folks spend months and months unsuccessfully looking for housing. The COVID-19 Eviction Defense Project estimates up to 23 million people could be at risk of losing their housing come the end of September. A swan song of sorts, Zach intends to try and prevent. Americans need rent relief now. In Seattle, I'm Dan Grossman reporting.